What's up everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm, where every day we're going through one of the Psalms. Here we are on day 34 for the third time, hallelujah. Psalm 34, and uh, I don't normally do videos like this on the road. Hopefully uh, the background noise won't be too loud. I'll probably have to check it out before I upload it, if I'm able to finish this. But um, Psalm 34, a Psalm of David. When he feigned madness before Abimelech, who drove him away, drove him away, and he departed. So this is when uh, David pretended to be uh, crazy uh, before Abimelech, so they wouldn't turn him over to Saul. I will bless, I will bless Yahuwah at all times. Hallelujah. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord and Yahuwah. We boast in God. We don't boast at all in ourselves. Nothing out of pride or arrogance. But we boast in God. It's all about Him. He's the one that provides. He's the one that is with us and protects us. My soul will make its boast in Yahuwah. The humble will hear it and rejoice. Oh, magnify Yahuwah with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. And this is what's going to be happening, happening when we're brought into the kingdom, when the rapture happens. This is a praise that's all throughout the book of Revelation. Hallelujah. We're going to see that throughout the rest of the chapter. It's, uh, we, we get the same picture throughout all the Psalms and throughout other scriptures. The, um, the praise after the deliverance. The deliverance from captivity. The deliverance from our enemies. And then the praise. Hallelujah. I sought Yahuwah and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Hallelujah. We have nothing to fear because we know God is protecting us. We trust in Him and He's going to deliver us. Hallelujah. They looked to Him and were radiant. Their faces will never be ashamed. We look to God and He's going to bring us into His kingdom. Even if we have to go through a little bit of tribulation, here in the coming days, God is going to deliver us. He's going to bring us into His kingdom. Hallelujah. They looked to Him and were radiant. Their faces will never be ashamed. Hallelujah. This poor man cried, and Yahuwah heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. That's the same pattern we have. The trouble or the captivity. The prayers. And the deliverance. Hallelujah. This poor man cried and Yahuwah heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. Hallelujah. The angel, of, the angel of Yahuwah, the angel of the Lord, which is Jesus, encamps around those who fear him. Come on, people. I'm, I'm, waving, I'm sitting here at this uh, stop sign, waving people to go past me, and they're just looking at me. This poor man cried, and Yahuwah heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of Yahuwah encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He encamps around us and saves us.
Hallelujah. He is with us. Praise God. Oh, taste and see that Yahuwah is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Hallelujah. Oh, fear Yahuwah, you his saints. For to those who fear him, there is no want. Hallelujah. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. And the young lions in some scriptures, I believe, represent uh, the false prophets who, I believe, some are uh, demons. Demons in the flesh. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they who seek Yahuwah shall not be in want of any, th any good thing. If we fear God and seek Him, He will provide for us. Hallelujah. Come, you children. Listen to me. I will teach you the fear of of the Lord, the fear of Yahuwah. Who is the man who desires life and loves length of days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. One more time, keep your tongue from evil well, first off, who is the man that desires life and loves the length of days that he may say good? If you want to live a long, prosperous life, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Hallelujah. The eyes of Yahuwah are toward the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. Hallelujah. One more time. The eyes of the Lord, the eyes of Yahuwah, are toward the righteous. He's looking upon us. And his ears are open to our cries. He hears our prayers and he delivers us. The face of Yahuwah is against evildoers. To cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry and Yahuwah hears. And delivers them out of all their troubles. Hallelujah. We just need to trust God and seek Him and walk in His ways. And we have the confidence that He's going to deliver us. His word is true. His promises are true. He is our protector. He's our Father. Hallelujah. The righteous cry and Yahuwah hears them. And delivers them out of their troubles. Out of all their troubles. Yahuwah is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Yahuwah is near to the brokenhearted. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. We just need to seek Him and trust Him and call out to Him and walk in His ways. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. See, if we're going to... Jesus said, or the Bible says... Uh, Anyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. We're going to have all kinds of afflictions. If we serve God and follow Jesus and walk in his ways, we're going to have all kinds of afflictions and troubles and persecutions. But Yahuwah delivers them out of them all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahuwah delivers them him, delivers him out of all of them. Hallelujah. Our enemies can afflict us and persecute us all they want. But God delivers us. He is with us. Hallelujah. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. And that's actually a prophecy of Jesus. Because he, because he is the righteous one. 
that's what we read here in John 19. Let me uh, give me one second to connect to the this hot spot real quick. John chapter 19, starting in verse 31. Then the, then the Jews, because it was the day of preparation, so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, it was a uh, Passover. Asked Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away, so that they would their legs be broken, so that they would die. They wouldn't be able to hold themselves up anymore and breathe. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man and of the other who was crucified with him. But coming to Jesus, when they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. And he who has testified, and he who has seen has testified, this is John, and his testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling, telling the truth, so that you may also believe. For these things came to fulfill this came to pass to fulfill the scripture. Not a bone of him shall be broken. And another scripture says they shall look on him who they pierce. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahuwah delivers them out of delivers him out of all of them. Hallelujah. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Hallelujah. And this goes back to the Passover lamb. The lamb was to be unblemished. Uh, a young, unblemished lamb. With no broken bones or no deformities or anything. Evil shall slay the wicked. If you're living wickedly. It's going to come back on you. Your evil is going to take you down. Evil will slay the wicked. All those who act wickedly, even if it doesn't seem like wickedness to you, whatever is against God and His ways is wickedness. And uh, all wickedness, all wicked are going to be thrown into the lake of fire. All people who sent all, all sinners, anyone who hasn't had their sins forgiven, and anyone performing wickedness. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. And those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. Yahuwah redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Hallelujah. He's going to redeem us. One more time. Evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. Yahuwah redeems the soul of his servants and none of those who take refuge in him shall be condemned. Hallelujah. If we, if we trust in him and take refuge in him. We depend on him. He will deliver us. He will save us. It's through faith that we're saved. Through faith that Jesus died for us. If you believe Jesus died for, for your sins on the cross. And you ask him for forgiveness and turn to him. He will save you if you trust in God. He will save you. He'll deliver you. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Most High. Hallelujah. just got done with the Paul series yesterday is Paul a false apostle if you haven't watched that go check it out we go through the writings of Paul and show that uh, talk about how Paul didn't speak he didn't speak against the law of God he didn't teach against the law of God and when it when it seems like he's teaching against the law um, He's te teaching against the punishment of the law. That's what we're no longer under, the punishment of the law, which is death and a lake of fire. Uh, we're no lo That's what's nailed to the cross, our punishment. He took on that punishment, that death for us. 
and um, and we see throughout the series we saw that uh, the writings of Paul align with the rest of Scripture, and um, and he is a true apostle. Hallelujah, praise God. Uh, just got got the uh, back into the book of Isaiah as well. If you haven't seen my Isaiah 10 Bible study, check that out. Just put that out at uh, about four in the morning last night. And uh, let's continue to serve God. Let's walk in His ways. Let's overcome. We're living in the last days. There's not much time left. Let's preach the gospel. Let's serve Him with all our heart. Let's uh, stay in prayer and let's support one another. Let's pray for one another. Let's make sure we have a pure heart, pure mind. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. Don't let the devil get a foothold. Don't let him get a... Uh, you give him a little bit, he'll... You give him a little... Uh, an inch into your life, an inch into your, uh, just just a little bit into your mind, he'll take uh, ten times more. He'll just keep coming, keep coming at you, keep attacking you, but resist the devil and he will flee from you. We we need to make sure we have a pure heart, a pure mind. Let's serve God with all our heart. Not much time left. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, call out to him today. We're living in the last days. There's not much time left. Jesus loves you and he wants to save you. The wages of sin, the punishment for sin is death. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, the punishment for sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus. That death is uh, the second death in the lake of fire. Anyone who hasn't ha received forgiveness of sins is going to be thrown into the lake of fire for death of body and soul. And God requires perfection in order to enter his kingdom in order to live eternally. And none of us are perfect. We can't earn it. We can't earn our way to heaven. We can't earn our way to eternal life. It's only through faith in Jesus. And because we can't earn it, that's why Jesus came. He came 2,000 years ago, born as a human. Uh, just like us, faced temptations just like us, but lived a perfect life, didn't do anything wrong, not, not even in his heart, not even, even in his mind. He was pure, perfect. And that's that perfection that we can't live out. And that's why we need a savior. And even though he deserved eternal life through his actions, because he was perfect, he took on the punishment for us. He took on that death for us on the cross. He paid the debt for our sins. So that through faith in him, because it's not by works, it can't, we can't earn it ourselves. He did it for us and took on the punishment for us. And through faith in him and what he did, his sacrifice, we receive forgiveness of sins. If you believe Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose three days later, and you call out to him to forgive you, to save you, and you truly mean it, He will forgive you. He will give you the Holy Spirit, which will change you from the inside out, which will change your heart, which will give you a pure heart. And um, He'll give you His Spirit, which will change you from the inside out, which will help you understand the Bible, which will open your eyes uh, to many things, and help you, which will give you wisdom and help you understand things spiritually. Uh, He'll forgive you. He'll give you the Holy Spirit as a promise until the day of redemption when we get our new glorified immortal bodies and eternal life. The Holy Spirit is the promise, the seal of his uh, precious purchase because he purchased us. He purchased our souls with his blood. He paid the debt for our sins. He purchased our souls with his blood. If you believe Jesus died for, for your sins, call out to him. Ask him to forgive you, to save you.
He'll give you the Holy Spirit. He'll forgive you. He'll give you eternal life. The Bible says we can't even imagine the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Can't even imagine it. It's so glorious, so amazing. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Repent and believe the gospel. Anyone could be gone any day. Don't waste your opportunity. Get right with God. Repent and believe the gospel. The word repent means to have a change of heart, change of mind. It means to make that move, to truly turn to God, to make that decision to truly turn to God, to turn away from your sins, to call out to Him for the forgiveness of your sins. Call out to Him to save you, to truly turn to Him. Making that decision to change your life, to turn to God and believe in the sacrifice of Jesus. Hallelujah. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. There's not much time left. This world is coming to an end real soon. What's coming upon this world is uh, destruction. The worst period of time in the history of the world is uh, talking about a quarter of the world dying when it all first breaks out. And then the tribulation time, which... Uh, <clears throat> Everyone's heard of everyone's heard of the mark of the beast and everything before all that talking about a very wicked time and um, you have an opportunity to be saved from it. Most people are going to die two deaths, the, f the first death, this first physical death and then the second death in the lake of fire, body and soul. But God is so gracious to us living here in this final generation he chose us to live here in this final generation and gives us the opportunity to potentially not even die once there's many believers many people who uh, serve christ are going to be raptured not even die this first death going to be taken straight from this life into eternal life uh, um, changed into a new glorified body uh, immortal body that doesn't die and taken into his kingdom with him give your life to Jesus there's not much time left thank you guys for tuning in this end of Psalm 34 love you guys Shalom